Hey, what's up, Empire? Duncan here again. Go Niners. Okay, first and foremost, though, let's talk draft. Here's my mock draft. But before we do, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, find me on Twitter as well as Google+. Comment in the box below and hit that bell for notifications. So with that said, let me talk about our draft. In the first round, I got us getting defensive end slash edge rusher Harold Landry. I believe him and Otto Aou can provide solid uh, quarterback pressure off the edges, which is something we really need. In the second round, I got offensive tackle slash guard slash center, or just plain old o lineman Isaiah Wim. Okay, and this guy is. He's, young, he's aggressive. He's athletic. He can pull guard. He can stand block guard. He can run. He's going to be a solid pick. And if we can get him in the second round, that's a steal. So my third round pick is running back Royce Freeman. He's a guy that can power run, catch off the edge. He can break tackles. Um, he can really create havoc. And honestly, I believe him uh, with McKinnon and Brita create one of the best combo trios, running back trios in the NFL. And I can't wait to see what Freeman can do with McKinnon in this system of Kyle's. <clears throat> now, my other third-round pick is tight end Dalton Schultz. He's a guy, he's big, he's strong, he's athletic, he gets open, he makes catches specifically in the red zone. He gets a lot of touchdowns, but he can also block. He's outstanding at pass blocking, and he can run down the field blocking with most running backs. In the fourth round, I got linebacker Jeff Holland. He's another guy that can come off the edge, give pressure. He can really um, increase the depth, but also create competition at that edge pass rusher because I believe that's going to be a big concentration for us this draft. We're really going to be looking for that, that, that future pass rusher along with depth in that position. Okay, now in the fifth round, I got us getting defensive end Javon Ro Javon Hall or uh, Roland or Holland. Okay, Javon Holland. He's a little undersized, but he can also play that edge rusher, outside linebacker slash defensive end, kind of what um, Doomerville played for us last year. He's a guy that can come in and play that position. He adds depth and competition. So, with my sixth round pick, I'm just getting the best available free safety or defensive back. I want to start stacking that secondary with depth. Um, the seventh pick, I got, or my seventh round pick, I got wide receiver Bryon Byron Pringle. Okay, he's a guy, I believe it's Kansas State. He's quick, he's a bit undersized, but he's a lot like Trent Taylor. He can make guys miss. He, uh, he makes a lot he can make a lot of catches, he can break a lot of tackles, and he's a returner. He can kick return as well. I believe he makes a practice squad and at least pushes for a chance at this roster if there's an injury. So um remember depth and competition. So with my final pick, I'm just going out and I'm getting the best available linebacker. And Simply put, if you notice, my concentration is depth because I want to create solid competition, which is only going to make our team better. And that's my draft pick. That's my mock draft. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you guys think. So hit that box down there. Share it to all your medias. And again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go find me on Twitter and Google Plus and all that good stuff. Peace. Go Niners. Dunking out.